Jeremiah 14:14. 14, 14. Then the Lord said to me, The prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I have not sent them or appointed them or spoken to them. They are prophesying to you false visions, divinations, idolatries, and the delusions of their own minds. I just said, I, I believe from what God showed me that Trump is going to win. And I stand on that word right now. I see a lot of people are getting quiet. And a lot of people who are really bold, they're kind of backing down off of that word. What's going on, guys? So it looks like I got to eat some humble pie today. Uh, you know, first thing I want to say is this is not on God. This is on me. And I'm going to explain that, um, you know, even though I know some people came to this video and that's why I'm going to do it a certain way. Uh, just to throw stones and regardless of what I say, you're going to throw stones and uh, regardless of what happens, you didn't like me and uh, you were just, you know, you're excited. You feel like this is your moment, you know. And so um, because of that, I can take it. You know what I'm saying? Throw all the stones you want. I will be all right. And I know regardless of what I say, you're going to throw them anyway, even though I right, a couple things. I never said that God told me all right, that Trump was going to win a second term. I believe from what God showed me that Trump is going to win. And I stand on that word right now. And I stand on that word right now. Once again, I never said that God, I told people, hey, go look at the post, go look at all the videos. I got a post, I'll post it right here for you to see it's the closest thing that I could find uh, to what people are saying. I believe from what God showed me that Trump is going to win. And I stand on that word right now. Uh, I never said that God told me Trump was going to win the second time. Marcus Rogers has said that the closest thing he could find to him saying God gave him prophetic word that Trump would win was in a post. So why was this video from over two months ago deleted in this past week after Trump officially left office? Marcus Rogers has said that the closest thing he could find to him saying God gave him prophetic word that Trump would win was in a post. So why was this video from over two months ago deleted in this past week after Trump officially left office? Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, both near and far. This is Trevor with Dying to Live for Jesus. And today I want to give my thoughts, my convictions on... Uh, some of the things that are becoming more apparent after January 20th has passed, and we very clearly now see uh, some false prophets. And uh, the main word I want to give here, the main understanding the Lord has given me is it's very urgent that the people of God learn to discern these people before their prophecies come to pass, because some things I've been learning from the Bible is that God tests us in false prophets coming and actually performing the signs that they're able to perform. It says this in the book of Deuteronomy. It says that uh, if a false prophet, uh, it says if a prophet comes and the things that they said was going to pass actually comes to pass, but then they say, let's go and worship other gods, don't listen to them. It says your God is testing you to see if you're going to serve them with your whole heart. Okay. And Jesus said in the book of Matthew that when the end times prophets comes, just like it says in the book of Revelation, they're going to perform many signs and wonders to get to people to marvel after the beast. Okay, so I could already tell by what Chris Yoon was saying, what he was preaching, the, the lies that he was speaking. I have absolutely no doubt. I didn't really start studying him till within a couple weeks of January 20th. But once I started studying him for just like a day or so, it was very clear to me that he's obviously a false prophet. You don't have to wait for whatever it is that's coming to pass to pass. And I see a lot of God's people being snared in these traps 
that the Lord has allowed to be set in order to test your hearts. And the similarity between Marcus Rogers and Chris Yun, they both speak um, almost identical words of what what the what the Lord is supposedly going to bring about in the next four years, and they talk a lot about prosperity, and it's like prosperity times 10. It's this big wealth transfer that's supposed to come and all these great things. Whoa, be careful. This has this has Antichrist written all over it. That's what was prophesied to happen when the beast would come. He's going to give riches to those who forsake the covenant. He's he's going to buy himself a people that should have been devoted to Jesus. Those who firmly know their God will resist, just as Jesus says, uh, that they come to deceive even the elect, if that were possible. But Jesus says his sheep know his voice. So right now, I'm going to leave you with some preaching from Marcus Rogers. I'll probably throw in uh, Chris Yun too, and just show you, look at what these guys are preaching, and you got to make sure your hearts aren't going after these things, because if you're going, if your heart is going after wealth, and you got to be honest with yourself, you can make all kinds of excuses. This has been going on for years and years with prosperity preaching. They're going to pull a couple of verses from here and here and there to say, oh yeah, yeah, Jesus says you're going to, you're going to receive a harvest. Okay, we receive a harvest, but that's not our focus. That's for God's glory, but it's not, uh, it's not, it's not what they're saying it is. I mean, I don't have time to go into that in detail, but you can see very clearly from what they've been preaching that's supposed to come in this next wave uh, in which they're already wrong. Chris Yun is just holding to this like nothing even happened. You know, he's just continuing to say he's right. He's very prideful. Him and Marcus Rogers are both very prideful. So I'm going to leave you with these clips right here. This is what you've got to watch out for. You've got to watch out for this brand of prosperity preaching because it is antichrist level prosperity preaching. And I saw these golden wings flapping, but on the golden wings, they were flapping like behind the person and they didn't begin to flap until the person stepped out. And on the golden wings, I saw golden coins that were shining. And like I said, I, I God, it's like he'd be giving me the interpretation while it was happening. And it was sending like a, a, a breeze behind the person and it was quickening them. And the Lord was letting me know that there's going to be kingdom finances and kingdom resources in the middle of the storm. If you step out in faith, there's going to be a provision that only God can provide. Deuteronomy chapter 13, if a prophet or one who foretells by dreams appears among you and announces to you a sign or wonder, and if the sign or wonder spoken of takes place and the prophet says, let us follow other gods, gods you have not known, and let us worship them, you must not listen to the words of that prophet or dreamer. The Lord your God is testing you to find out whether you love him with all your heart and with all your soul. It is the Lord your God you must follow, and him you must revere. Keep his commands and obey him. Serve him and hold fast to him. That prophet or dreamer must be put to death for inciting rebellion against the Lord your God, who brought you out of Egypt and redeemed you from the land of slavery. That prophet or dreamer tried to turn you from the way the Lord your God commanded you to follow. You must purge the evil from among you. I'm going to tell you exactly what God is about to do in 2021. He's going to give a blessing to be a blessing. He's about to unlock the, the wealth of the world, all right? And he's going to, oh, it's going to be like a transfer, all right? And he's going to put some money in some people's bank accounts. He's going to put some money in some people's hands so they can go out and make, make a difference. He said, I'm raising up difference makers. He and so if you never had gifts before, if you've never had the wealth before, he's going to transfer all that to those that have been faithful and that have been seeking him and that desire to do his will and his kingdom work. And so if you, uh, people that have had wealth or have certain resources, all those things are going to be shifted to people that need and, and desire it to do his kingdom work. And so what we're going to see in the next four years is something that a lot of people will never have fathomed or never even have seen ever come to light before. And that is revival and kingdom work being pushed. And in 2021, he's calling some of you back because we are about to see the greatest revival. We're going to see an outpouring of finances to fund this kingdom movement. But God is about to do a new thing. I'm telling you, people are going to invade Hollywood. They're going to invade the music industry. They're going to be put in positions of influence. And guess what? Everything that Brother Marcus is telling you, God is already doing it in my life. 
I'm talking to NBA players, NFL players, people in the music industry. God is raising up some people. But here's the thing. Here's the requirement. You need to, want, you need to live a holy life. You need to be bold. Remember what I said. Think about this. In God, in God we trust. In God, you need to get that in your spirit right now. And I'm going to end this video. In God we trust. Jeremiah 23, 16. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. And the one thing that he wanted me to tell everybody is that God will open doors and he's going to allow blessing upon blessing to come into your life if you plant and if you sow for the Lord. And you have to sow for kingdom purposes. And if you do that, God is going to um, multiply that tenfold. And what he's allowed me to see is that anything and everything that he's held you back with, whether it's because you planted and you didn't see the fruit, whether it's because of a, a, you know, a, a, a roadblock or something that just stopped you from obtaining and getting that blessing, he's going to open that door and he's going to allow a lot of things to happen like you've never seen before. If you've been following me this whole week as well as the last couple of months, you know what's been on my heart, and it's that the Lord has anointed and has appointed uh, Trump to be a president a second term. It's not 2024. It's right now in the next couple of weeks. And I've given a lot of prophetic word and a lot of dreams and a lot of um, different things uh, throughout the last couple of months, and it's all leading up to what's coming up in January 20th. And so I've said this many times before, but please reserve throwing your stones at me until January 20th. Because right now, more than ever, the Lord has made it so clear to me what is about to come to pass. If it doesn't come to pass, then woe to me, even as I'm uttering these words. It is the morning of the 21st, the day after the 20th. I got a lot of updates for you guys, but um, I want to try to keep it brief. Um, there's a lot going on, and there's a lot behind the scenes that you don't see. I'm going to explain how all the prophetic words God gave me has come to pass so far, and I'm very confident in what the Lord has been saying to me and what He's been speaking to me. And I want to double down on that. I want to triple down on that. And I want to just tell you, on uh, whenever you know we meet uh, God face to face, He will tell you Chris was right, and uh, the people that were against Him were wrong. <laughs> As you know, I posted a video a few days ago regarding the outcome of the election. And as many of you may have heard, uh, the press has declared that, uh, that Biden is the winner. And I wanted to come on this camera today and uh, reinforce and double down what the Lord has spoken to me and what he has revealed to me. In the Electoral College is moving forward with this process. President-elect Biden will be president of the United States. The only date that matters in the Constitution is January 20th. So all this other stuff, you know, December 14th with the Electoral Colleges, all this stuff, and you can even see it in historical instances with like, you know, Al, Al Gore versus Bush and all that stuff. These things can be overturned. There's active cases and litigation going on. And so it's far from over. And so once January 20th comes around, obviously we will have a sitting president. And at that time, everyone will be humbled in some way. Everybody will be humbled because they took a side or they had such a, a strong opinion only to have had such a reversal with that. And he knew from the beginning of his life, our life, who's going to be president at 2016 all the way to 2024. And that right now is going to be President Trump. And people are going to regret and they're going to reject who God has anointed. And God has anointed and he's appointed uh, Trump. And you have all, all these people like myself and all their prophetic voices that are declaring that um, he is the chosen person for this time and place. If you've been following me this whole week, as well as the last couple of months, you know what's been on my heart, and it's that the Lord has anointed and has appointed uh, Trump to be a president a second term. It's not 2024. It's right now in the next couple of weeks. 
and I've given a lot of prophetic word and a lot of dreams and a lot of um, different things uh, throughout the last couple of months, and it's all leading up to what's coming up in January 20th. And so I've said this many times before, but please reserve throwing your stones at me until January 20th, because right now, more than ever, the Lord has made it so clear to me what is about to come to pass. What the Lord is doing, and I've been saying this in one of my videos, I talk about what the Lord is doing in the next 30 days. I start I have that on January 20th, and it would go up to January, uh, December 20th, up to January 20th. And I'm going to reiter reiterate, I've, I've never said anything about January 6th being the end date. The end date is January 20th. And it's all leading up to what's coming up in January 20th. And so I've said this many times before, but please reserve throwing your stones at me until January 20th. Because right now, more than ever, the Lord has made it so clear to me what is about to come to pass. If it doesn't come to pass, then woe to me, even as I'm uttering these words. And I'm very confident in what the Lord has been saying to me and what he's been speaking to me. And I want to double down on that. I want to triple down on that. And I want to just tell you, um, uh, whenever you know we meet uh, God face to face, he will tell you Chris was right and uh, the people that were against him were wrong. But I still stick to is that Trump will be reelected and he will have a second term in this year, this season of the next four years, not 2024, this year. So those are three things. And he also um, showed me that January 20th was significant. So um, that date I've uh, stated and I'm holding to that, but it's different than what I had thought previously because I thought that uh, Trump would just come about and that's that's what it is. And so I've uh, asked the Lord about that. And I'll actually just quickly clarify that. I asked the Lord about that yesterday. I said, Lord, what was significant about yesterday, it seemed like it was not what I thought it would be as well as many other people. And the word he gave me to encourage me was yesterday was significant. I gave that to you, but the day yesterday was, and what he gave me was, it was the day that he allowed the shackles of this nation to be broken time. And I'm again telling you all this ahead of time so you would know that this is from God. And for many of you, you're gonna come to revival that way. And again, for other people, which is the other you know lowly group that I'm really sorry I can't do much for, is that you will refuse to believe it, you will still curse, you'll gnash your teeth, you're going to uh, throw stones, even all the way through when Trump begins his presidency. And so I'm saying all this now, and many of you are going to still gnash your teeth, which is fine, but I do want to ask, like, is there a way that you could be patient? Is there a way that you can go to the Lord? Um, because I've um, clearly stated yesterday was a big day, it's passed, and those that first prophetic word I gave came to pass, it was a significant day, and now what you're going to see, um, because the military has been now established as being in power, that is going to begin a process of re-establishing re, um, uh, Trump as the president. So if anything, it is a cascading effect that has actually allowed the, the uh, inauguration or the uh, proper establishment of Trump being the president again. So we may not see it uh, visibly, but it is a process. So if anything, that prophetic word has come to pass or is beginning to come to pass, meaning that Trump will be in his second term.